Hello, my name is Rolly, ZL1BQD. Now fire is a real problem in uh, bush areas, uh, such as what I'm in at the moment. And my friend Gary, ZL3SV, lives in a very remote location at the top of the South Island of New Zealand. I tell you what, let's go and visit Gary, shall we, and see what he does about fire prevention on his property. Well, we live out in the country and fire is a thing that we should never forget about. We are surrounded here with the native bush. In fact, we back on to very close to the Kaharangi National Park, which is a very, very large path, park in the top of the South Island here. One of the things we've done is we've put sprinklers underneath the eaves right around the house and they're active at all times. Also, in addition to that, we've put sprinklers on the tops of the, uh, the roof of the house and also our big shed. And that's connected up to a smoke detector system under the eaves. We've got two of those and that will activate a valve which will put the sprinklers on top of the roofs uh, on. It will spray the whole house and about 20 metres right around, uh, around all that. Now this whole system is all backed up with a battery system. We have solar here so we have uh, power all the time from our solar system. And it will so we'll run 24-7 and we have uh, plenty of backup. Um, now the idea with this is that if we're not here hopefully it will come on and uh, potentially save the house. Now. It does also take the, we take the water off the roof that we use for drinking water through a series of filters. But in addition to that, if the sprinkler system is running and firefighting, it's going to recycle that water. We've got about 80,000 litres of storage capacity up on the uh, hill behind here. And we've got underground uh, PVC pipes. Uh, so the whole thing is protected. The concrete tanks are uh, fireproof. All the pipes are underground and it's uh, as reliable as we can get it. I mean, there's only so much you can do. It's really a case of do the best you can if you're in a vulnerable position and uh, then just get out of it and let the professionals do their job. So anyway, we've done our bit anyway as much as we can and it, uh, if it activates, it turns on the big pump which uh, has got access to about three, 400,000 litres of water in a dam down in the creek in the bush. Uh, so there is plenty of uh, backup for it all and again as I say it uh, does have a battery backup system to uh, make sure it keeps going. So there we go, we've given it our best shot if, if nothing else.